Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to explain and show you how you can create a Gantt chart from scratch. Now, a Gantt chart is a really useful project management tool, which essentially provides a very visual and helpful list of tasks, start dates and duration, so you can keep track of the projects that you're working from. So we're going to make a start. The first thing that you need to do is essentially type up a table of the tasks that you uh, want to run through your project with the details of those tasks. So you can see here, we've created a demonstration. You've got your first column, which is your task name. Okay, and please, when you do this, make sure that you do title these because they are needed for the graph that we're going to create. You then want your start date, so the date that the task is going to start, how long that task is going to take, in this case, it's days. The end date. Now, the second section of this table are essentially um, optional, but I like to add them in. And you will see why when we go into some other videos that we delve into on this, where you can essentially define and collapse these charts uh, at will. So category, responsibility, and the status of that task. So. In our uh, project that we've visualized here, we're essentially doing a house. So you can see we've got electrics, gas, plastering, decorating, and the different responsibilities across those. So once you've gone and uh, typed that data up, we can then insert our Gantt chart. So what we need to do is press insert. We want to go to bar, okay? And we want to put in a 3D stacked bar. Okay, so go ahead and do that. So, once you've done that, we want to right click and go to select data. Okay, let's remove these tags. Now, the first thing for our legend entries is going to be the start date. So we press add on our series name, we press start date, and then we press this button here. For our series values, we press that and drag down our start dates. Press the drop down again and press okay. Okay, we now need to add another legend entry. So press add again the series name for this one needs to be duration. And we press duration. We then drop this down again. And our series values are the values underneath there. Press this again. Okay, and we now press OK. We now need to define our horizontal categories. So here we press edit. And our axis label range are our task names. and press OK. That's it for the uh, insertion of data for here. We now need to format this. So we press the blue part of the graph, right click, go to Format Data Series. We want to go to Fill and press No Fill and then press Close. Okay, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, and you can see that we've now got our Gantt chart created. Now, you'll notice that there's quite a big gap at the start of here, but we can edit that. So to do this, what we need to look at is the, initial, the first date that we had in our start date. So here you can see that it's the 1st of August. So what we need to do, and this is a little bit strange, but we need to type in the 1st of August into another cell. We now need to press it, right click the cell itself, go to format cells, and we want to format it as a number. So we press number, and press OK. 
you can see that that's given us a number of 42948. What we now want to do is click on our bottom axis, right click and press Format Axis. In minimum, we want to press Fixed and we want to change this number to the number that we just generated, 42948, and press Close. Okay, you can see that that's now pulled that back in much better. Okay, so you can see our Gantt chart is nice and aligned. We will probably want to make this bigger because it is a fairly large one. But again, this comes down to your own preferences, your own needs, etc. So I hope that's been helpful. If you've got any comments or questions, then please pop them in the description below. We are going to expand on this video. Okay, so if it's helped you, please like or subscribe, and I'll see you next time.